All right, Rankin family, we are looking at this beautiful Southgate Homes right here in Prosper, Texas, north of Dallas. I can't wait for you to see inside this one. This is the first time we've actually seen a Southgate Homes on this particular channel. Now, this is going to be the Addison 2. And as of the time of this recording, they are going to have one in inventory very similar to this one. So if it's something where you want, uh, this particular plan make sure to reach out to the information below book a call see what we can do to help you and get you taken care of but just from the exterior i love the fact that we have the painted white brick of course right here to the left would be the garage but in this case it is a model house so look at the color tones on this particular property so just looking at the covered front porch you are going to have that stucco as well and I just love the fact that we have the painted hardy board as well. It just looks absolutely stunning. But let's go ahead and get you inside. Let me not waste too much more of your time. So going inside the front foyer, what we're going to have is 20 foot ceilings on top. We have the recessed lighting as well with the brass candle like chandelier. So inside the front of the property on the first level, we are going to have the amazing engineered wood which everyone absolutely loves the one thing that we get about the engineered wood is the fact that it just looks extremely elegant and it's extremely durable which a lot of folks absolutely love if you have any experience with different types of flooring inside of your home you'll definitely appreciate that fact so right here we are going to have the window bench you are going to have the shiplap ceiling which is very unique i love that touch of course, this is a model house dressed to the nine. So that's one thing to certainly keep in mind. You may or may not want that. But if that's the case, you can certainly reach out so we can find out your options. Now, this guest bedroom is going to have a full size bathroom attached to it. You have the herringbone style tile on the floor. You have the stainless steel mirror frame, which is absolutely stunning. And then you have quartz countertops, white cabinetry with the chrome hardware. Now, I love the fact that we have the tile shower surround inside of here with the chrome finishes. And if you notice, the herringbone style tile actually continues inside of the walk-in shower. And that kind of rhymes, herringbone style tile. Herringbone style tile. Let's try to say that five times fast. But right here, you have your full-size walk-in closet, which I love because a lot of times we'll see some of these walk-in closets especially inside of these guest rooms. And I feel like they compromise some of the space. So inside of here, it's fantastic. You don't have to worry about that whatsoever. So right there to the left is the sales office that is going to be the garage in this particular plan. Let's start right here to the right. So that way you can see the full size study. So if you notice the engineer wood, it does continue inside of here as well. You have these oversized windows bringing in plenty of natural light. I feel like that is the one word that us as realtors utilize <laughs> the most is uh, natural light, bringing in natural light. So, uh, I mean, it's just true though, right? So that's what they to keep in mind. But I love the fact that we have these French doors right here. Look how much space you have inside of here. And it's just absolutely fantastic. I feel like the brick light accent wall looks extremely unique. I think it's one of those things where you know, it's so subtle, but it really does a great job of bringing the, the property out and just making it stand out, essentially. But you can easily fit a full size desk inside of here. You can put two chairs inside of here, have a bing bag. Just really depends on what you plan to do with the property. Right here, you're going to have your full size media room. You have the double doors going inside of here. And I love the fact that we have a ton of space. I had uh, someone that reached out yesterday had the good fortune of speaking about their goals and objectives and uh, that was one of their must is a nice size media room so i definitely can see that inside of here this might be a perfect option and the fact that you can fit this l-shaped couch with a coffee table an entertainment center and <laughs> a little coffee area over here or wine bar whatever you want to utilize it as that just shows you how much space you have inside of here so before we go ahead and go to the great room, let's go ahead and take a look inside of the powder bath. Again, you have the shiplap accent wall right there. You have these beautiful 
quartz countertops, level one quartz countertops. You have the brass mirror frame right here as well. And the recessed lighting continues in here. And then of course, right here is going to be the utility room. And what we'll do is we'll go through the primary because it connects to the primary closet. You have a full size closet right here as well. And this is on a 61 foot wide lot. But now going into the great room, you have these tall ceilings with the exposed wooden beams on top. You have the cathedral like ceilings with the sliders and of course, more windows for bringing in plenty of natural light. Now on the fireplace, you have the tile on the exterior. You have these floating counters right here as well. Now, some folks may or may not want this up. Uh, you know, of course, this floating counters right next to it. But of course, if that is an option where you don't want that, we'll go ahead and see what we could do about um, getting that excluded or included if you really wanted it. But I mean, of course, I love the fact that we have the great room kitchen combination really keeps everything all inclusive. And I think it just flows extremely well. So now going in to the kitchen, now we have the waterfall level one quartz countertops. Now, if you notice the backsplash is quartz as well, which I absolutely love. That's one of those subtle, subtle details that folks don't pay attention to, but really, I really think it stands out. I love the uniformity of it. Love to hear your thoughts below. But you have stack cabinets, you have the wooden range hood. Now, if you notice, you have the brass accent on top of the range hood, which is very unique. Haven't seen that ever, I don't believe. And then of course, right here, we are gonna have the uh, brass lighting fixtures right above your island as well. And just look how huge this is. So 10 and a half foot wide, uh, yeah, wide island with the floating counters right above here. This would be perfect for your coffee bar and a full size walk-in pantry. I love when they don't compromise much space in the, in the pantry. That's one thing I really love. Stainless steel appliances right here, brass hardware as well. Look at this, we got some Cheetos, Doritos, Funyuns, you name it, we got it. Look how much space you have in there. I love that you have these wide drawers right here as well. Now you do have the Fulger Milano stove right here as well. And just look at this. Now continuing into the breakfast nook right here, look how much space you have inside of here. Now I love the fact that we have windows on all three sides. There's been some times where we've seen model houses where they have windows maybe on one side or only two sides and the other side was just drywall or uh, just, yeah, just really just a drywall. So I love the fact that you have this because look at this, you really don't even need the lights on, especially for a nice sunny day like this. This is perfection, wow. And the one thing I really love about the engineer wood right here is that you have the wide planks. That's one thing I really love, really is a nice detail that essentially brings out the property in my opinion. Now going into the primary bedroom, you are gonna have the cathedral ceilings. Again, you have the painted beams on top inside of here. If you notice inside the great room, you had the exposed beams, but in here you have the painted exposed beams. You have this blue accent, it's like a blue jean uh, accent wall, which is unique, but look at this. King size bed, two oversized nightstands, plus you have this dresser over here with a full on chair. Wow. But I just love the fact that you have so much space inside of here. Like I said, this is the first time we've actually seen Southgate homes on this particular channel. A lot of times we see, you know, other nice builders, the Coventry, the Perry, the Toll Brothers, but it really think it's nice to bring to you folks some other builders just to kind of give you some ideas and different things just to switch it up really. But it's out of here, you are gonna have your full ensuite, recess lighting again, that same accent wall. Me personally, not the biggest fan of that accent wall, but really to each his own. And good thing is it's a cosmetic detail that can be changed. Floating counters inside of here again. And I really love that they kept it uniform with the same counter material, the level one quartz. You have the brass mirror frames that we've seen again. And I like this actually, this is unique, really. I mean, I would quite frankly 
put maybe some decorations if it made sense. Instead of putting the towels, I would put those in maybe the closet, but really just kind of gives you a basis of what's possible. Now look at this. You have your rectangular soaking tub right here and you have a full size, huge zero threshold walk-in shower. Look at this. Wow, you have the privacy windows right here, two shower heads, that's the brush nickel shower heads, and just look at that. Wow, loving it. And then of course right here you have your toilet, and then let's go ahead and take a look inside of our walk-in closet. Wow, look at this. So again, this does connect to the utility room, which is perfect because if you're getting changed inside of here and you're taking off your dirty clothes, you only got to walk three steps to go ahead and put it in the washer, which is perfect. And then, like I said, here is the full utility room. So you have plenty of space for an oversized washer and dryer. You have your full on sink in here. You have this upgraded cabinetry on top which would definitely come in handy without a doubt. But just look at that, the amount of space right here and then you can just come outside and especially even the kiddos, if it's something where, I believe I already opened this, but if the kids were to come downstairs, um, they can easily go ahead and put all their dirty clothes inside of the utility room. But going in that garage, you would have a mud room, which a lot of folks love, but Really, the one thing I love as soon as you enter inside the property is that you have these 20 foot ceilings, which, you know, it really just opens up the plan. Even though you still go through a hallway to go to the great room, it still feels open, especially when guests come in for the first time. That's perfect. So inside of here, you are going to have your game room shiplap ceiling again with the recessed lighting, beautiful lighting fixture right above your couch. And you just have so much room inside of here and quite frankly most folks would go ahead and put a pool table or maybe a poker table but even if you wanted to add a poker table you can add a smaller couch and that way it just kind of fits perfect almost like a puzzle going over here you have your built-in desks right here go ahead and i love the fact that you got your chessboard right here but look at this i love the fact that the kids can do their homework look out you know, of course, over there, depending on the particular lot that you have, that will determine the view that you would have. But you have the oversized uh, windows and especially not having the window grids. I love the windows without the window grids, in my opinion. Sometimes I know the window grids could either, you know, hold the panes together or have, you know, some aesthetic that folks love. I think ever since we've seen the style of just the oversized windows uh, without the window grids, I don't think I could ever go back, to be honest with you. And folks, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Always great to have you. I appreciate the continued support. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin. I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out here. So I get in folks moving out to Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin, you name it, reach out. We'll definitely get you taken care of, connect you with the right local expert and consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the ranking family, like I always mention, and that way you don't miss a video every week. But yeah, I love the fact. So that will be our third bedroom. So there's a total of three bedrooms up here, two bedrooms down for a total of five in this model. Of course, we have storage closet. And you know, we always see the closet really close to the game room just to go ahead and store games and things like that. So inside of here, you have your window nook. Again, shiplap accent wall right here. And look, you can easily just add some cushions right here, give it more of that aesthetic look. But quite frankly, especially whoever's going to be living in a room up here would appreciate that. I mean, this is, yeah, that's hard right there. <laughs> Try sitting on there for an hour. See if your bum don't hurt a little bit. Full-size walk-in closet inside of here again. So, and you know, quite frankly, I love when I, we go into these model houses 
and they stage every single room. I try my best to bring to you folks the models that are staged in every single room because, you know, there's sometimes we might go into a plan that's, you know, staged in all the common areas and the primary, but they forget to stage the the uh, the other bedrooms, you know, the secondary bedrooms and things like that. And it's not necessarily that they forget to do it. A lot of times it's homes that are for sale, one, or model houses that are for sale. Because if that's the case, can you imagine fully uh, updating or fully staging each and every single room and then it sells the next month and they have to completely remove all the furniture. So it, it definitely makes sense because most of the model houses that we see on here, they're not for sale. The model house it usually becomes for sale a few years down the road from them being opened. Um, and that's just one thing to keep in mind right there. But I really just love the way it looks when every single room is staged. Because there's some folks that can vision what their furniture would look like when it's uh, completely vacant. But I just think to the to the, you know the regular eye, everyone appreciates a fully staged property. Okay, so again, I mean the common thing I'm noticing inside of these rooms is that you do have ample amount of space. It's not the biggest as far as the secondary rooms, but you do have ample amount. And I just love the fact that right over here, you can see over the great room and look at that. Can you imagine that being your view every single day, especially to the backyard? We'll go to the backyard now. So that way you can see the pool. But yeah, this one is in Windsong Ranch up in Prosper. A lot of new development over here. And then the stairs is actually oak wood flooring. So you got engineered wood on the first level right here. And then on the stairs, you have real wood, which is perfect. But most of the homes around here, you're going to have either this type of flooring or LVP flooring, something similar like that, luxury vinyl plank. But one other difference between here is because sometimes we see in the breakfast nook, you'll have sliders in the great room and you'll have that quick access door, but they added two separate sliders which is very unique. Can you imagine opening this side all the way up and this side all the way up? Wow, especially on a beautiful day like today. But if you notice the painted brick extends over here to the back of the property, which is definitely nice. Some folks may want the stucco to be, you know, to continue along this way. So if that's the case, you can certainly reach out so we can see about your options, but look at this, wow. Why did I think there was a pullback here? There's definitely not a pullback here, but I mean, gosh, you do have this nice fireplace right here and a large covered backyard patio. But wow, absolutely fantastic, folks. You really can't get much better than that. But that is the lovely Southgate Homes. All right, Rankin family. So that was the beautiful Southgate Homes right here in Winsong Ranch. Prosper, Texas. Let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. If you do want more information about this plan or any plan that I showcase on this particular channel, reach out to the information below. We'll book a call, find out your situation, see what we can do to help. And I'll see you folks on the next property tour.